Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad to be doing this again. I've missed everybody. I'd like to thank the new subscribers. I would like to let you know that my health issues have just about resolved themselves. I am hoping to get on a regular schedule and I know I've said this a couple times, but as I've always said, the universe may or may not have different plans for what we need to do. Anyway, I am so grateful to all of you for paying attention to the videos. Uh, I have started doing uh, lives with Marie's Table on the 12th of each month at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. And basically what we do is we answer uh, messages from those who have crossed over. You can submit your questions, so if you wouldn't mind passing along on the other videos to let you know that you too can indeed um, see if there are messages from those on the other side. And it also deals with other aspects of grief. Some people ask a question, but honestly, um, generally it's my loved one crossed over. Do they have a message for me? And I have what I believe to be a really special deck for that. But today, for my first period back, as you can see, I am outside. Hopefully you can hear the birds chirping. This is, I am videotaping this underneath the magnolia tree in my yard. I'm very blessed to have been able to share the energy of the magnolia tree. Um, I've taken some strength and some grounding and some roots. But as you can see, it's 60 years old. So it is absolutely, I'll tilt it up just a little bit. It's absolutely huge. And I did not know that magnolia trees are both male and female. Um, I've been, so I'm hoping before it gets blazingly hot to be able to come out here and do the videos here instead of inside. Um, I, I like the birds chirping. Uh, I do feed the critters, I feed the birds, I feed the squirrels. Uh, I'm actually working to bring back lightning bugs. Um, that's one of my projects. They like uh, long grass and still water. So in my yard, uh, where four corners meet of four houses, I've um, set up a bowl uh, with standing water and I've um, ask the lawn person not to mow behind the shed so it's not like so I'm not going to attract even if some mosquitoes come it's not going to be bad because it's in the corner of everybody's yard so hopefully that's what I've been doing try to reclaim a little bit of the yard each year uh, so that it's much more nature friendly but I'm so excited to be back and doing these readings and hoping that I can correctly expand now that the health issues I was suffering were a manifestation of old hurts and, um, you know, slights and um, residents from even past lives, you know, old hurts and just letting go of all the ugly in my life to move on to the next chapter. So the deck we're pulling from today, I thought it would be great, is Archangel Powered Cards by Radley Valentine. Uh, I like these cards. They have a short and sweet message. Um, so what I'd like you to do, as always, take a deep breath, close your eyes, don't think too hard, and pick a card. Card number one, card number two, or card number three. Card number one, card number two, card number three. Sorry. Okay. My kitty is wanting to get into the video. <laughs> the first card is the King of Ariel. Your plans are working out very well. Professional and financial success. Using resources widely. So much abundance. Your plans are going to work out very well. The ability to manage finances is matched with a keen sense of what will succeed. Advancement in your career is likely. 
you've worked very hard and would like to take a break or possibly retire to enjoy a life of more leisure. So if you've been working on something, thinking about something, it's probably working out. Um, I do uh, suggest that you stay focused the way you have been. Um, and um, when you need help, reach out. But success is on the way. Card number two is the five of Raphael. Everything happens for a reason. Release regret and embrace the opportunities for happiness. Search for the silver lining. And the five of Raphael. Everything happens for a reason. You may currently be focused on a loss, but when this card is drawn, there is something positive waiting for you. Things may not have turned out the way you expected, but now is the time to trust that the universe has something better in store for you. Regret simply does not serve you now. Embrace changes as the guiding hand of your angels sending you in a new direction with your long-term happiness in mind. So trust in the universe. Call on the angels. Ask them. Bring them your troubles. Let them know you may not be feeling it. Call out to your guides. Uh, they're always with us. Uh, tap into those loved ones you've had or friends that have crossed over. Um, they are always just, you know, a voice away. You can just think of them as being in the next room. And the third card is King of Raphael. Yes, it is safe to trust. The ability to accomplish many things at once. Follow your creative passions. You have the ability to accomplish great things at this time. Indulge any longing you may have to create art or music. Lend a hand to those around you who need assistance. Expect to meet someone you can really trust, who is driven by the heart. Wise and heartfelt advice really makes a difference. So if you have been on the fence, maybe it's a relationship or a business partnership or uh, some kind of uh, decision you're making, uh, it's okay to trust. Trust your judgment. Trust your instincts. You know, when we get feelings in our stomachs, um, those are our body's way of saying either yes, this is good or no, this isn't good. Um, the problem lies sometimes is when we don't listen to what our stomach is telling us. And then we get into trouble. I do hope that the new background is good. And like I said, I hope to do many videos out here um, under the magnolia tree. Um, it's been a lovely tree and I have lived here and I've really just started tapping into its energy and it's being, um, magnolia trees are both male and female. Um, I kind of wondered, uh, you know, because the mythology and lore, the trees are always men. And I wondered, are any trees female? And I asked about the magnolia tree and poof. The magnolia tree happens to be male and female. Um, but anyway, please, please, please like, share, and subscribe, and ring the bell. And please feel free to leave a comment. Is there something you'd like to see? Is there a certain deck that you've been looking even? I can um, change my path or do another video on walkthrough decks or is... Um, you know, there are questions you have, please leave them in the comments below because that really does help the channel. And I really do want to honestly um, move what the universe needs me to do uh, in a more forward direction with more um, drive, uh, so to speak. Um, because I really think the universe has set me up, especially with my voice, uh, to be a voice for others. To help people um, and the more we spread this channel the more people we can all help collectively so please once again like share subscribe and I hope all of you have a very blessing filled week I do hope that you've been enjoying the theater 
of our elected officials. Um, that has been interesting. And and long time ago, I said it was going to get ugly and it was going to get nasty. Um, and we're in the soup now. Uh, what's happening is the earth is evolving. People are evolving. People are coming out and saying, you know what, this is not right. And I'm going to say something. So the tide is turning and good is marching in and getting rid of all the evil. It'll take a bit uh, through elections and such a process, but it will happen and we will once be in a more diverse and equity filled world anyway i wish you the brightest of blessings for everything wonderful please focus on the answers to the cards i hope this reading helped once again comment uh that really does help the channel hit the thumbs up uh, that's another thing you can do boy there are a lot of things to remember so we have subscribe hit the thumb up ring the bell comment um Anyway, I wish all of you an air of fun and uh, hope to see you very soon again. Blessed be.